Hey, hello everybody. This is Miyaka from Miyaka's Creations, also known as Miyaka618. And in this tutorial, we are going to look at scalers for IMV products. So first thing you want to do is click on the little plus button or the create button over here on the right side. We are then going to select avatars because I want to use the scaler on avatars. I'm going to select the female avatar because I always go to default female because that's just the way it is. Oh my gosh, I was going to motorcycle. Anyway, sidetracked. And there's Gif, he's here. And uh, I decided to do a quick tutorial version of this because nobody else is here and then you show up, but too late, I'm still going through. All right, in order to add your scaler product, you need to click over to this little thingy right here. It says scaler. It's got a little arrow, makes it bigger, smaller. It's kind of fun. All right, so you click on that and you want to select a bone. Select a bone that you want to scale. So we're going to put that right there. And then you select the node, AKA bone that you want to scale. Um, as a reference, every single bone that you scale, every scale, every bone that's connected below it will also scale. So uh, just as a reference, we're going to select the pelvis node, which includes every single bone in the body. And we're going to scale, scale the Z by two. Get a preview. And her whole body is scaled on just the Z axis. So she's flat and tall, but also her feet went down because it scaled right from the center. So let's undo that. Preview. Boop. All right. And let's select a different node. Let's just do the foot. The foot is at the end of the chain of bones connected to her hips. Do, 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 do. So we got left foot. So this side, do, 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 do. And we're going to scale the X on this one to two. Preview. That. So it just scaled the long way. All right, we're going to see X and Y, see what happens. I think Y is tall. Let's do a Z. This is backwards from like a regular 3D thing, so don't. Bing. So now she has a fat foot. So as you can see, it just made her foot really big. One time. So that. So if I were to uh, scale her thigh, the foot would then shrink again. I'm going to make this a two as well. Just make it a big fat foot. She got one big fat foot. All right. So we're going to add additional bone. We're going to add our thigh on our left side. Hip thigh. And we're going to make that one smaller in the same regards. And it should make the thigh smaller and it'll change the foot size back down, but it'll still look weird. Let's see what happens. And now she's got a midget leg. But look at her foot is the same size as this one. Wow! So, um, in order to really adjust the body proportions, you're going to have to play with all of these different bones to see how they compare with each other and how they rate. But the scaler in the uh, studio makes it all very simple. And then all you gotta do is save your product, add your photo, which you can just do it through this, <laughs> the thumbnail action. Select there. And I'll do both photos and then you can add your information and submit and you have a new product. Congratulations. All right, hope this was tutorial was helpful for you, and uh, let's have to see some fancy things in the catalog. Alrighty.